Boy, that's no running yeehaw for that big mother thumper carburetor, custom header flowing. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm talking about that thing because we ain't here to mess with it. Y'all know what time it is. Mail time! Y'all ever get one of them moods where you just like, I don't know, you feel so good you want to do a line dance or something? As soon as I point, music just comes on and you grab your hips and start dancing. I ain't a line dancer, don't, don't think I'm claiming that. I'm just making up some hypotheticals and shooting from the hip. It's damn near Christmas and y'all keep it Christmas year round with always sending stuff out. So, let's get a mail time video going for you. Now last time we did mail time, I, I did it out in our merch building. That way uh, I could say we we're breaking her in or something. It's so dang quiet in here compared to my shop when that's opened up that I actually kind of like it in here. It's almost like I can have a little bit of peace for a split second. Got us a couple cards here, y'all. This one here is from David and Edna Pickrell. P Pickrell? Pickrell? So Putin's Fab Shop in family. We like our hot rods. Jesus is the reason for the season. I ain't gonna argue with that. Good, good golly. Thank you for an outstanding year of Puddin's Fab Shop episodes. Your creativity and humor have made 2021 a much more enjoyable year. You are fixing cars and you're also fixing people. Have a great Christmas with your wonderful family. Best wishes, Jim. Jim spoiled us a little bit and had some cash in that card, which I appreciate, but it's not necessary, guys. Uh, I'll tell you, usually when y'all send cash, uh, I pass it on to Mama, and she spends it as necessary. <laughs> it, every guy watching right now just shook their head, yep, yeah, they know what that meant. <laughs> Here's some cash. I thought I just gave you cash. What cash? <laughs> And Jim's comment, the fixing people, guys, I'll, I'll have you know, uh, I used to really be worried what people thought about my YouTube videos, maybe how I would act, how I'd be perceived, and I kept it out a lot of my old videos, and if you watch the old ones, you'll see it, okay? I didn't want everyone to think I was some dumb hillbilly. <laughs> I don't know if you watched 2021, but uh, all we did was highlight that. <laughs> For a damn good reason, too, it's because... Guys, I, more than anything, I enjoy making you guys laugh. So I, as much as I, I appreciate you coming back for the cars and all this stuff kind of base around cars, if one person says they had a, a bad Monday or a bad whatever, and when they watch my video, they got to laugh and they forgot about all that, 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 out, that outweighs any compliment on the work or nothing or anything like that, guys. That, that's what I really like to do. So uh, it's awesome that it can impact people in a way. I've got some really deep messages from people, some really deep messages from people. And I just feel, I guess, honored to be able to do this for you guys. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the Richardson family. And they got, that's Mark, Sabine, and Rex. So to Mark, Sabine, and Rex, Jim, David, and Edna, I appreciate you guys sending cards out. Oh, baby. It's like we got the fancied rainbow color edition, okay? Heat shrink. I believe at this point in time, we have every size, every color ever made, ever produced, ever available in stock at the Puddin's Fab Shop. On the graphing paper, that's what I'm talking about. Howdy, Puddin. I heard you mention you could have used some of this in one of your recent videos. Love the channel. Keep up the great work, buddy. Sincerely, JL in California. P.S. My kin came from Wawoka, Oklahoma, just a hop and a skip and a jump up from you. What are the odds? I don't know. I think if we were in Arkansas, pretty good odds. I think everyone in that state's related, but here in Oklahoma, we don't kiss cousins. Probably just lost all my Arkansas subscribers. I'm just playing, you guys. We appreciate the heat shrink. We like to keep our shop supplies in stock. Now, I'm pretty forgetful that I have stuff and I forget to use it, but we do appreciate it. This is for Sir Put in a Pot County. So, whoever whoever sent this one put some respect on my name. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure I know what this one is, and I know what this one is because uh, this gentleman, Bo, asked me for my prescription. That's the Public Wholesale Optical. That's a Bo Ridge down in the Odessa, Texas. And Bo said, hey, Puddin, I know you like to play your different characters in your videos, like your, your Clyde Smith and your Professor Poudin. And he said, I would like to make you some glasses. Hook me up with some spectacles for each character. Oh, uh, <laughs> these about to be my new dailies right here. God, <laughs> I can see so good out of them. Oh man, the 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 tin is perfect. I have to flip this camera and see what these babies look like. <laughs> Y'all got a stick? I'm going to need a stick to beat Ashley off me because she's going to be trying to attack me looking this good. <laughs> These could almost be gangster. This could be throw some horns on the front of the Caprice. This could be trucker. These babies are just awesome. Makes me wish this gold tooth was up front instead of hid back there. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to enjoy these way too much. <laughs> Oh, classy, possible professor type, Buddy Holly. What's up, baby? You want to go for a ride to the cruise inn, get us a burger? Let's flip her. Oh, you damn right I could do some trigonometry. I'll do trigonometry, calculus, physics. You want it? I'll calculate it. <laughs> yeah, you want to know the Clyde Smiths? Don't worry, I found them. So, Clyde Smith, the Clyde Smith Liquid Transport, baby. Oh, man, if that ain't a winning combination, I don't know what is. What in the little Harry Potter we got? <laughs> oh, these are terrible in such a good way. Do y'all have any clue how many lessons I'm about to teach y'all on that whiteboard in the shop? <laughs> I feel prestige. That's where you wear these, right? Down here on your nose and you only look through them like that. <laughs> Make me look like a little bug. Everywhere I go this next week, whether it be the Postal Service Office, the O'Reilly's, anywhere, they're going to shit when they go to show me something and I pull these out of my front pocket of my bibs. I tell them one second and I'll take a gander. I'll just sit them on the tip of that nose. <laughs> oh, man. Bo... Those are some good ones, sir. Bo, I probably enjoyed this a little too much. So, glasses are always welcome. Uh, I'm going to rock the shot collars for now. So, I'm saying it, it's all fun and games until I like a pair too much. Then these become my go-to daily drivers. Went to the Sonic. They gave me a damn drink with a piece of half-inch PVC for a straw. I don't know what in the high-flow suction we got going on here. What in the flexible draining, draining tool? You know what that'd be good for? Road trips. You know what I mean. Instead of having to pull over and stop every so often, shake that baby how you want it and land her in a uh, Gatorade bottle or something. Dad, we gotta pee. Y'all know good and well I put that flexible drain tool in the back seat. Y'all get her out. <laughs> you wanna know the advantage of doing that is, guys? You can reshape and reuse thousands of times. You can easily drain hard to reach stuff without a mess. It's easy to clean. Take her on a road trip, throw her in the dishwasher when you're done. But really though, these things are pretty cool. I ain't ever used one or touched one. It looked like that tongue from the guy from Kiss who wants to lick everything. Hope these tools and items help with your next project or your current projects. My wife and I watch your channel every Monday and... I was about to say that was downright rude of me, but then that was downright rude of whoever honked that air horn at me. And I know who you are, so when you have four flats, be pissed at me. My wife and I watch your channel every Monday and enjoy all your jokes. We hope you and your family have a great holiday season from Marty Mortimer. Mortimer. Appreciate the big tongue, Marty.
And I appreciate you guys watching every Monday. And I can't wait to drain something with this. That's why I didn't play sports. I literally threw a piece of trash to a bin less than a foot away from me. And I missed it, guys. I may have not been good at sports, but you know what I did win when I was a senior in high school? Class clown. Facts. A gift from James D. Newple. Newpel. Uh-oh, we got some more minifigures for Hot Rod. Hot Rod's actually inside right now. She had a rough day at school. Dad actually went and got her a little early. Her arm's hurting her. She got a little something in her eye. I think we got it out, but she need a little relaxed time. We got some, some coffee. And I do like coffee. Boy, I don't know what in the heaven sent coffee that is. But she sure smells good. Oh, baby. You dang right I checked to see if this stuff's sealed. Can't have one y'all giving me some poison or something. Take me out. I'll come back and haunt your ass. <laughs> I'll be the most smart-ass ghost you ever did meet. Dear Puddin, here's a little something all the way from Florida that'll keep you going on those chilly Oklahoma mornings. This little satchel of beans is from the best coffee house we have to offer down here. Kookaburra Coffee in St. Augustine. After a cup of this, Joe, you'll be yelling, Hot damn, I'm ready for another one. I guarantee it. Puddin's Fab Shop is a fantastic and entertaining channel. I hope you and your family have a very Merry Christmas. And that is from Mr. Andrew Clem. Well, thanks, Andrew. Like I said, I like coffee. I guarantee you I'll brew some of this up in the morning. Now, you said beans. I don't. If I got to grind it, I'm going to have to get a new flapper disc on the grinder and make her into powder or something. But I'll drink it one way or another. We have people sending all kinds of stuff, and that's the first time I got some coffee, Andrew, so I appreciate it. Fluid pump for the court. Somebody, <laughs> somebody see me service old five-speed on the yeehaw and wedge that little bottle in there and give it a squeeze. And we got some 11-piece 3H drive pipe plug socket set. Slap that baby right on your 3 8 impact. That's pretty damn neat. Well, how many notes did they let you send? About 17. Slippery Pete fluid pump. This thing just becomes so much cooler now that I know it's called the Slippery Pete. <laughs> right on there is old Slippery Pete. Your action to hot rod in you, print on the wood, truly showed you're a hell of a good guy. We need more people like you in this world. Best of luck to the future from Mike Z, the Ford Maniac on YouTube. Yes, that was the one where I don't even like talking, but we ain't going down that road again. I'll just say I started I started crying, okay? I, I'll get choked up real easy. Heartfelt best wishes to you and your family. <laughs> We're not doing this right now. <laughs> We're not doing this. Thanks for sharing a tidbit of your life. Thanks for your service. Family is everything from one father to another. You're truly a stand-up guy from Mike Z. We're not going to talk too much about it because I ain't getting choked up on this one, okay? I'm staying strong. Got my gangster glasses on. Big gangsters don't cry. This big gangster is also pretty excited to put both, both of these to work, so I appreciate it. Boy, I'll keep wearing these. I am going to put a set of horns on the front of that tow roller. Snakeskin boots and a cowboy hat. Gold chain in these. Don't tempt me. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Somebody somebody found some Legos that it, it actually says Hot Rod on the door. And check this out, guys. We got a grill mechanic wearing some bibs. Man, that last Lego was a bit disappointing. I thought you got the whole dang set. Well, this seems like the perfect kit for you two anyways. Throw some patina on her pudding. Hope this isn't too much like work from James Newple. Again, I'm sure I'm butchering that last name. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is one of them. Someone done electrified or burnt, burnified or something. They did something to some wood. Oh, baby, that is sweet. Y'all know good and well she's put on Fab Shop Blue. Congrats on the wedding. Love the content. Addison Augusta. That's at 5-6 Total Chaos on the Instagrammer. I've never seen this burnt wood in person, 
or whatever or whatever you call it the electrified okay uh man it whoops the hell out of that wood don't it boy my wife she just lucky and fortunate as can be to have that last name she just such an honor for her to get to share it with me <laughs> next mail time video i got a black eye <laughs> y'all can't see it because i got on tinted glasses <laughs> I ain't taking these things off again. I'm going to shower in them. That thing's awesome. Was this guy from Pot County the way he uses duct tape like I do? Or what? Enjoy the rat traps. I enjoy the videos very much. And thanks for the great content. That's from Sean Rorabak from the Massachusetts. P.S. I would have sent the Slim Jims for bait, but I ate them all. I ain't even mad at you. Oh, Trapper T-Rex. She's got a U.S. patent on her. <laughs> They've got a finger they don't want. God bless America. Scared the dead. Woo! <laughs> I was not expecting that much power out of that thing. Mess around and find out, rat. So I appreciate the old traps there, Sean. Let's see if we can't turn into old crocodile hunter and get us one next time. JDM Speed Electric Fuel Pump. Oh, baby. That's them little universals. I've had really good luck with these little cheapo ones. Way better luck than the ones that cost you 40 bucks or so. And, uh, who sent this? A gift from Martin Mortimer. So Martin, more than likely... Don't want to watch my video and watch me rob fuel pumps from stuff because I have one I've been sharing between my fleet of vehicles. So, Martin, I appreciate it. I think I actually ordered one spare, but I may have consumed it already. So, it ain't a spare. Well, you can't ever have too many of them old fuel pumps. I already see Martin's name again. Martin also sent us, sent us some uh, fuel hose. So, besides fuel pumps, he's tired of watching me swap fuel hose around too. Old dang roll of 5 sixteenths. He's also sending us GoPro mounts of some sorts, which I usually just leave mine hooked to that thing and I clamp it to everything. It's actually a pain in the butt to swap the camera around, but sometimes you need something like this where you can tie it in a knot on something. <laughs> Martin hooked us up. We got dang clamps. Fancy metal end, okay. Got us some fuel filters. He freaking hooked it up. That's awesome. Martin's the, the fuel the fuel supply specialist. I guarantee it. He took care of us good. I uh, appreciate all them tools and the mounts. Like I said, there's, there's special situations where we can use them. So we'll put all that to work. I don't see a note in this one. The Woodsman's weather stick. They really work. So this one here don't have a note with it. So I don't know who sent it. But this is the Woodsman weather stick it's the rustic weather predictor from the backwoods of new england they really work <laughs> usually if you have to say your product really works it's a 50 50 if it's going to work or not stick bends down to foretell foul weather stick bends up to foretell fair weather hang on an outside wall or door casing <laughs> Well, Doug Cox was a bit skeptical, and I ain't gonna say that I ain't either. <laughs> if you're pissed off, you flip her upside down. If you want it to be, when it's nice out, you flip her up or what? I don't know. We'll mount it somewhere and see. So we appreciate the wood stick there, and I just got Hot Rod, who still ain't feeling the greatest. She looks like she's, you have a rough one, baby. What's that say? It says your name. It's hot rod. And look, it's a girl mechanic. And what's she wearing? Overalls. Overalls. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. You want to open this and see who you got? Hey, what do you say to Mr. James? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, don't forget that. James, you cheered her up a little bit. She is not feeling well right now, so appreciate you sending that out and kind of cheering her up. She gets excited over them Legos. Guys, I appreciate you all sending this stuff out. 
Y'all always send a crazy amount of stuff. Like I said, it's Christmas year round around here with you guys. So, uh, Bo, you cracked me up with them glasses. My wife did pop in here okay. She's not a fan of these. She said I look like a 70s you-know-what star. And I said I basically am. And she just <laughs> laughed. <laughs> She so got to learn real quick when I go shave this beard tonight and just have the mustache in the morning. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys sending out the shop supplies, the coffee to keep me going, the pull your leg weather stick, the sign, rat traps, GoPro mounts, tools, uh, the stuff for El Ray, stuff for the family, whatever. Uh, I, appreciate, I appreciate it, you guys. I appreciate the constant support. I always like doing these mail time videos. I hope I can continue to make you guys laugh. And I will see you guys next time. But don't forget, sitting on your ass won't finish your project. Hot damn, there's so much BSRE. We had to start a whole channel for all the extras. Be sure to go check out Puddin's Fab Shop if you ain't seen that baby yet. Come on! This damn stick better not lie to me neither or it's one of y'all's butts.